So we're back at it and look where Brandon just received in the mail. Two scholarship offers, not one, two scholarship offers to an SEC team and a Big Ten team. Mississippi State Bulldogs, Wisconsin Badgers, add them to the list. So that's two out of the three original top three choices we got a scholarship for. Let's go ahead and continue with that. And these are the schools that are interested in us at QB. Let's make a rational decision here. All three of these teams are not doing so hot this season. Tennessee is looking horrible right now. West Virginia, not too far from it. Arkansas, right around the corner. So any of these three would be, you know, I really like West Virginia's. I think they run an air raid offense in this game on NCAA 14. So I'm really liking the fact that Brandon will be able to spread the field wide and just do what it does. But Tennessee, we can rebuild that program, make them a force to be reckoned with in SEC. I'm really liking that idea. Same with the Arkansas Razorbacks. I'm gonna go with. Hmm, I'm gonna go with Tennessee. These schools interested in us at free safety. Um, just for the fun of it, I'll give it to the Tar Heels. Bet. So. This week, week seven, we're ending up traveling to Atlanta. Let me go ahead and save the game real quick, just in case anything happens. Don't want to lose those massive recruiting points we just got. And then let's take a look back at the recruiting board and see where that places us. So week seven, college choices, okay. So we're about 4% and 15% away from completely filling out our recruiting board, our current recruiting board with just scholarship offers. So Georgia and USC are both really interested in us, but it's just, I think the picks is really what's holding them back from giving us the offers. I think without the picks, we would have been at the recruiting points available, but I mean, after the last game against Douglasville, you see Brandon is cleaning up. He's not here to play. He's real settled in the offense. He's comfortable. He's a senior. He's realizing he's only has so many more games to play before the state championship. So there's only so many times schools will be able to see him. Um, right now, I'm liking the chances of Brandon getting the scholarship to USC, and it's looking like a, it's looking like USC, Wisconsin, Tennessee type type of uh, situation going on here Jake Fromm would probably be leaving at the end of this year so I'm thinking about giving it to UGA as well to throw them in the running but those would be like the four right now Mississippi State can't forget about them actually so these are my top five yeah definitely not in this order but these are the top five I like Wisconsin a lot and I like the idea of rebuilding Tennessee or Mississippi State and then taking USC as the Pac-12 is looking like it's anybody's race. Take that maybe for four years, three or four years, then hit up to the NFL. Um, who knows what we decide. So let's jump into this. We're playing against the Atlanta Tornadoes. I don't understand that, but they are 0-6, so this should be an easy game. Watch out, watch out, watch out. I'm going deep? No, nope. defense is kind of over it. They kind of smothered those routes. Yeah, pick up that block. What's that flag for? Is that holding? Clipping. Alex, how? You're killing me, man. Bounce in. Yo, I'm not seeing nothing. Okay, there it is. 22 yard reception, so he definitely made up for that mistake. Um, I wish I could have kept my rushing yards, though. Uh, Why is Becker? We can send you over the top like we did Surya. And then Glick. I feel like they're bringing a rush. 
block and release. Did not mean to do that, but thank God this this Atlanta Tornadoes <laughs> team is not decent as I definitely did not mean to fight back. Read option. I think I'm gonna keep it either way. Just try my luck. Okay, stay on the block, stay on the block, stay on the block, stay on the block. That's you, Saria. The wise backer, whoever that was, 82. 82 is Ostrander, actually. Yep. Ugh. Got stuck in the pile. If Saria, if he hits his move right to the outside, that's you. I got the block. Oh, I thought he was gonna, I threw it too early. I thought the tight end was gonna pick up the block, but he didn't. Or not the tight end, I'm sorry, Win. I thought Win was gonna pick up the block. He's needed the first. I didn't want to go back in the in the chain of yards, so I just Give me this. That's you wise, bro. <clears throat> four for four. You know what I'm saying? Like, we at Wendy's, boy. Four for four, like, we at Wendy's. Yo, can we go perfect today? I mean, we playing against the 0 and 6 Atlanta Tornadoes. I don't see why not. There we go. Wilson, okay. Maybe I should have just kept it. Hit a spin move. Kept going. Like if not, I'll just dump it off to you. If Ostrander is getting smothered on this route, he's not. It's open. That's you. Beautiful. 21 yard reception. Beautiful. All right, let's get it going. Give me that. Give me that. Pick up the block. Give me that. Watch out. 22-yard rush. Come on now. They just calling the numbers on this one. We can get to the end zone if we need to. I think we can send. I still think we can send Austrian downfield. Maybe we can send Wind downfield. To be honest with you, and let Glick's route just go up the field if need be. Yes. Yes. Wise backer. No. <laughs> Oh, we were trying to go perfect. That's all right. That's all right. Watch out. Oof. That's you. Your boy is six for seven. 110 yards, two touchdowns. What is this, just for the first? Yeah, this play call is very short. I might just scramble out of it. Oh, that's you, How? Pick up the block, 85. Bennett, you gotta pick up the block, man. That's why he's not a starter. I hate to say it, but you gotta be, you gotta be looking up field and pick up the block for house so he can just burst down, burst down the middle. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Yes, sir. That's you. Go up field, Saria. Go up field. Almost got the first. Good, good, good yards, bro. Good way to fight for the extra yards. On the wheel route again. Who's running it? What? How? Okay, okay. How's taking the wheel? Let's do it. On the wheel route, that's you. I couldn't wait because I thought they were going to sack me. All right, block and release. Ah, oh, Shrander. This looks like, nope, they got it. There you go, Sri. I thought that was a pick. I thought that was a pick. I mean, I'd be having, we'd be having nightmares about picks, man, from all the picks we used to throw. Now it's a distant memory. And then, come on, come on, bounce to the outside. Damn. I thought Wynn was just going to cut up to the right once he saw me scrambling. The read, well, he's a little far out. If 71 could pick him up or 34, it would be straight. He, he fed, okay. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna quick pass it. Should just be slants. Yep, should be slants. Go. Should be you. Ostrander again. 
That's what I'm talking about, boy. We had to do some aggressive play calling on that last drive. I had to show the scouts, you know what I'm saying, a little something, something. We also want to show them that we're disciplined, though, and we're not all about our way or the highway. So let's try to limit the amount of audibles we call. Let's just try to work through our progressions. And if need be, we might be able to flex in some audibles. That's you. Go upfield, win. Go upfield. Beautiful. And that's what happens when you get the ball there a little bit on, like, that was, like, on time. Because right when he turns that route, he you, you hit him because that's what the progression is through practice, right? You know, the quarterback, you're counting back your three-step drop, your five-step drop. As soon as you hit that last step in your progression, you get that ball out your hands. And the, your wide out should be there. That's you. Take it in, Hal. That's why I, I feel like keeping it a lot and then just trying to hit him with a spin move or maybe break the first initial tackle. It just seems like there's more success in doing that than handing it off. So we got three routes going on here. Only one is touching the end zone. That might be enough. Yes, it will. Ostrander again. Last week it was Saria. This week it's Ostrander. Stepping up. Seconds. No timeouts. I don't think we should really be gambling with this. Might end up throwing a pick. I'll look for something short. Maybe I could have threw it to A, but I should have went. I should have went out of bounds. It's inexperience on my part. Damn, they got me before I could bounce to the outside. Can we get in zone? I don't know. I think we can. I think we can. Not like this. Not like this. Outside. 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 Out of bounds. Stop the clock. No quick pass it. Uh, I don't like the man in motion. I'm going to have to hit Ostrander. I call it in myself. Wait. Talking about pick up the first. No quick pass. It. Uh, I don't like the man in motion. I'm gonna have to hit Ostrander. I call it in myself. Wait. I'm talking about speed option. Yeah, we can kill some clock. Here we go. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. What's that? Come on now. Gotta get that speed up. I saw y'all left in the comments. Uh, Brandon maybe should go to Ohio State. I really like that. I really could see Brandon fitting in perfect at Ohio State. Like perfect. I thought about that a lot. But they have Justin Fields coming in there as what? He's a sophomore, right? Justin Fields coming in as a sophomore. Um. I just don't think, I mean, maybe we could battle it out like Tua and Jalen Hurts, but I don't know. I don't really see it. I don't, I, I kind of want to make the move, the transition to college makes sense and make Brandon go somewhere where he doesn't really, he's not scared to fight for the starting job, but not somewhere where it's like, you know, the bid is already laid out for the, the QB that's there. But who knows? Who knows what we'll do? If Ohio State offer is late, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? Definitely not ruling it out. As you go down. Ah, oh, Saria, Saria. That's my fault, too. What's this going on? That's a touchdown. We calling those. That's every day, all day. Whew. They dialed in. It was 17 for 18, dog. We're almost perfect. Block that'd be amazing. I need to get out of here. Whew. That was a lot of hang time. Fourth quarter, last quarter. This is gonna be our last drive on the offense if we can punch it in here. Let's not waste no time. I'm watching the wheel route. Cash in. 
thank God. Gotta praise the Lord. 235 recruiting points, y'all. 235. I think we got 190 last game, and we threw one pick. I'm telling you, those picks make a difference. They don't want to see turnovers. Turnovers kill it, just like they do when you're in college and you're working on that coach trust. Turnovers kill your points. They kill it. So we got 19 for 20. Like I said, I'm basically perfect. That's like 98% um, completion rating. Passing yards, 305. I'll be right by your side till 3,000. Okay, anyways. Passing touchdowns, 5. Rushing yards, 164. Rushing touchdowns, 2. So we got, what is that, 469 total all-purpose yards. 5 passing touchdowns. 2 rushing touchdowns, so that's 7 touchdowns again. It was the exact same stat from last game. It's a little odd, but <laughs> a little uh, consistent. So we got 7 touchdowns total, because that's how many they let us get before they sub us out. And, I mean, look at us. Look at what we're doing. We started off this season throwing nothing but picks and fumbling. But look at this. Coach makes a decision to pull us from playing free safety too much. Focus in on a QB, and look what we're doing. 980 recruiting points. And that's going to end it for this episode, y'all. I will catch y'all in the next one. I promise you. I promise you I'm going to get these out as quick, as quick, as quick as possible. Y'all boys have a good one.